How's it going guys? Real Rabbin here back at it again with another video and we are on race number 18 in the NASCAR Thunder 2004 series. Let me just show you guys something I, I uh, quickly did in uh, the garage with our R&D stuff. Uh, basically we have one building and one repairing for the chassis uh, which is good news because we're kind of running out of chassis. We've been using three for a while now um, and we did something in the engine uh, so number six is being overhauled. Uh, that'll take two races from now and the power and efficiency will go up a good amount because remember we did have one shop edition. Um, so basically everything we overhaul is going to have a little bit of an upgrade uh, because these we have better equipment. So we still have number seven which is building and that is going to be our best engine by far in a well not by far but by a good amount. Um, and then we overhauled number five as well. That's what was being overhauled and now that has 65 power and 60 efficiency. So that is good news as well. And the bodies, uh, we're just repairing number four and uh, we have number five and number six, both really good to uh, survive for a couple of races. So everything is looking very good in the R&D department. Um, and you can see that we have the engine power 33% done. We have six races left. So the, everything is really good right there. We're going to Chicagoland next, a very good track. I do like this track. Um, we're going to put the best chassis we have, which is only one, but uh, it's it's a pretty good one. Got 61.59, so that's pretty decent. Uh, engine, we're going to go with number five and put the best one that we have in there. And uh, body, we're going to go with the best one as well. We're going to put number five in there as well. So 64, that is the highest rating we have had since ever. <laughs> like that's the best rating we've had uh, in a car so this is gonna be the best car we've ever had going to a track that is uh, a fun track I'm not expecting to win it obviously uh, this is not one of those you can win tracks when you're you know still developing your cars but um should have a good run so we'll see how it goes let's go and uh, qualify and see what happens Fucked up one and two, really bad, but uh, so you hit three and four. Nope, I mean, that was, eh, I got really loose entering the corner. Not the best of laps, we'll see where it puts us. Hey, that put us towards the front, good job. All right, top 10, that's that's good. Um, obviously you saw that we, we messed up, or I messed up, not we, but you know, I like to say we, because we're, we're involved in this career together, guys. Together, together, come on. But uh, yeah, I, I fucked that up, heading into one and two, just really bad. Um, a little bit loose entering the corner, so, uh, I don't know, I might want to bring the rear springs just back a little bit, um, just so that doesn't happen. All right, let's go to the race, see what happens. Not, I don't really know what we can do here. Um, I'm kind of worried about entering the corner. I uh, still haven't really found my the line I want to take, but uh, with other cars, we'll see how it goes. So here's the call. The NASCAR Winston Cup Series comes to Illinois this week for today's race, the Tropicana 400 at the Chicago Land Speedway. Barney, we're still kind of new to this place. What do you think so far? Well, Joe, this really is a state-of-the-art facility. It's a one-and-a-half-mile trial, well, similar to Las Vegas with more banking. We're in for a great race today. The 151 car has an impressive average finish this year. If you finish top 10 every week, then the championship becomes an attainable goal. This team wants to get the big money at the end of the year, so they're going to be working even harder to keep up this string of top finishes. The Cheerios Dodge looks to turn his luck around in this race. He definitely needs a good finish, not just for himself, but for the team, his sponsors, and everyone else involved with that team. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Ken Schrader. You know, I spoke with the guys from that team in the garage this morning, and they said they tried something a little different in qualifying this week. They learned their lesson, though. Stick with what works, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Let's go. 
got Gordon in front of us and Jeff Burton next to us and green flag is out and let's see if we could just quickly get to the bottom. Oop. Come on, let's go. Come on, Jeff Burton. Let, let me go. Come on. Eh. Nope. No. Nope. Eh. Nope. I nope. can do it. Okay, let's see if we can get to the bottom now. Get to the bottom. Get to the bottom. There we go. Okay. Very nice. Very nice start. Still P10. Still P10. Alright, let's settle in. Let's see how this goes. Backing up the entrance of the corner there a little bit so we can get a run. Doesn't really help, but we have Kenny Wallace kind of stalling Jeff Burton up there. Hopefully he stays up there. See, so get underneath Wallace as well, which we do. Thank you, Kenny Wallace. And we should be able to pick up two spots here, which we do. Okay, up to P8. Very, very nice start. And yeah, making that uh, spring change did help a little bit. I feel a lot more secure heading into the corner, so that is nice. Um, and let's see if we can get Elliot Sadler here, back up the corner a little bit. And that one actually, that was weird. It kind of like bottomed out entering the corner and kind of shot me up. That was a little weird, but we are fine. It didn't get loose, it just kind of, kind of, kind of car just kind of like bottomed out. Interesting. Underneath Sadler, which we can't get. That time we did get loose. So we could just sneak our nose in there, which we can't. Gonna be a good battle here. Let's see what we can do. Can't quite get underneath them. We're trying. But also, I can't get the car to stick. We just gotta show a nose. There we go. Just barely got our nose underneath there. Let's see if we can hold him heading down the straightaway, and we should be able to get him entering turn one. loose but we pick the throttle right back up and we should nope still side by side still side by side just, there we go just gotta show him the core panel there a little bit he's back on the outside and we clear him that was a very nice battle didn't make contact with him which was nice up to p7 we opened up a nice little gap to the pack of cars behind us which is nice we're in a little own pocket of air got mark martin mark martin in front of us and we're running some pretty good laps I, I really do like how the car feels feels really good uh, not really anything uh, significant about it that I don't like the tires are wearing out a little bit not a big deal um, it does get a little bit loose heading into one but uh, it's fine you can see by all the tire marks I've left heading into turn one uh, how many times I've basically slid it in there but um, we are perfectly fine I do like where we are at Trying to run down Mark Martin, but also not trying to make a mistake because we are having a good run of finishes and I don't want to fuck that up. And uh, basically on the pit stops, I'm not taking two tires. I'm going to take four um, and see how that goes. We're going to be pitting in about two to three laps. Um, but right now we are running down Mark Martin. Let's see if we can maybe get P6 on car number six. Very nice, very nice. That was perfect. And we have him clear. Okay, perfecto. Up to P6. Oh no, Jeffrey! Jeffrey has blown up. Oh, that hurts. And I'm making a mistake because I'm just looking at Jeffrey blowing up. Yo, Jeffrey, don't come back on the track. Yep, he's blown up. There he goes. Bye, Jeff. That sucks for him, but we go to P5, and that's really going to hurt him in the championship. Uh, standings because it was him, Stewart, and Junior. Junior's already running third. I know Stewart's up there in the top two. That is going to be a bad one for Mr. Gordon. Ouch. Okay, we are coming in this time by. Take a nice and easy heading into pit road. Slow down, slow down. There we go. There we go. Perfecto. Okay, so let's see. All four tires. We're not going to repair damage. I'm being slowed up on pit road for some reason, which is pissing me off. Okay, we are good to go. We got slowed up on pit road, which sucks, but um, that cost us maybe a second or two, but 
pit crew, no mistakes. Let's go. No mistakes, it was a decent stop. Uh, we lose a spot to Harvick. He was behind us and now he's ahead of us, but uh, that's understandable because of the pit crew. It is still slow, but as long as there's no mistakes, I'm okay with it. Go up on the track and block a little bit. We get the spot back from Harvick and we move forward. Okay, let's see where we end up. Got block again. I am faster than these guys, so I'm not really worried about it. Let's get fresh tires going. Okay, who's that in front of us? I need to see who that is in front of us as I try not to hit the wall coming out of this corner. I can't tell. I think it's Kurt Busch, but I can't really tell. Let's see where the pit cycle... No, it's Ricky Red. It's Ricky Red. Alright, let's see where we end up through the pit cycle. Alright, this should be the cycle of stops. Let's see where we end up. P4 and P3. Now, the thing is, Junior, who is just coming out, should have fresh tires. If you get past those cars behind us, he should be coming pretty fast. But we pit it at the right time. We are in P3. I'm trying to run down Ricky Rudd. Uh, the gap has stayed the same, but I'm really going to try to focus here and run him down. Whoa. Whoa, you saw the car bottom out there? Jesus Christ. I'm really pushing it. I'm really, really pushing it right now, trying to catch... Ricky Rudd, but we have Jimmy behind us. He's gaining a little bit of time on us. So I really, really got to push here. This is the most important part of the race. And, I mean, the tires are wearing out a little bit. I don't know if I can get him. I'm starting to lose a little bit of time. Going to have to focus. Oh, uh, this is agonizing. He's so close, but yet so far. All right. I'm going to do the same thing I did last race. I'm not going to cut, basically, from here on out. So uh, no, no editing. Let's just uh, see how the race ends. We got about six laps to go, or five laps to go. I don't know. I'm not looking at the screen. They got the top left. I'm trying to catch Ricky Rudd and hold my line. We have Jimmy coming up uh, behind us, pressuring us. Let's see how the race ends. Wow, we blocked Jimmy there. That was close. But we got a really good corner. We gain a little bit of more time on Ricky Rudd. Here we come. We are here. Now, where do we make the move? He's going to try to block us a little bit. So, got to be very careful. I have to set it up. I want to set it up for one and two, um, but we'll see how they go. We're right there. Just need to find a way around. Give him the bumper. We move him up the track. Side by side for P2. Coming to three laps to go. We have Junior, who I warned about, is coming. He's on fresh tires. We have Jimmy there as well. We clear Ricky Rudd, but here we have a problem because Junior is right there. I'm going to have to enter low to block him. And I can't, I can't hold it, I can't hold it. Oh, no, 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 wait, we're still good, we're still good. Oh, hold Junior off, hold Junior off. Come on. Oh, 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 oh that was close. We hold him off, we're still holding him off. Oh, my God, that is, that is hard. Entering the corner that low and trying to block, trying to block both of them. Oh, my God, Junior. I'm sorry, Junior. I'm sorry, I had to, I had to. I am sorry. I'm, I'm keeping this spot. I am not losing it. Jimmy on the outside. We hold him off. Coming to the white flag in P2. Tony Stewart's going to win the race, but we are battling for our lives here to come up with the best finish possible. Oh, okay. Looks like we have a little bit of a breather room. Okay. Whew. That was some of the best racing. <laughs> that I've seen or I've had on this game. I feel really bad for what I did to Junior, get sideways there. I feel really bad, but we, I mean, I had to. I, I knew I wasn't able to hold him off clean. I had to, had to do something, so 
We come home P2, very happy with that result. Very, very good. Tony Stewart wins the race, he wins by 6 plus seconds. Jimmy third, Ricky Rudd fourth. Junior fell back to six. I felt bad for that, but again, had to do what you had to do, and we get more money, 4.83 million, which is very nice, and a very good second place finish. So the last three finishes, we've had an 11th since the really, the actually, the last three finishes since the really bad race in Michigan. We have had an 11th, we've had a fifth, and we've had a second. So that is a very good stretch of races. We're going to check the standings here once the uh, saving uh, career to the memory card finishes. We're going to check the standings, see where we end up there. And, uh, yeah, very, very happy with that. And that was the so – I, I can honestly say that was the best racing I've had on this game, trying to pass guys like Elliot Sadler, trying to pass Ricky Rudd, trying to find a way around them. That was really good racing. Very, very uh, glad to see that. And uh, let's quickly go to the standings. Let's see where we are. Junior still first. Stewart in second. Gordon now falls to fourth. He lost a lot of points there that race because of the mechanical. Rudd is in third. Newman is in fifth. We are in tenth. So we get back into the top ten, which is our goal. We have a 48-point gap to 11th to Jeff Burton, Kurt Busch, and Mark Marin, and Jimmy Johnson are all right there within 100 points. Then Rusty Wallace, we have a pretty good gap on him. We have almost 200 points on him. So that is the gap right there that we are playing with. We have Dale Jarrett, who's only 28 points above us. Kevin Harvick is 43 points above us. And uh, Labonte is a little bit further out there. But this right here from 8th or from 9th, you know, 8th to 14th, very tight around that area. And this is where it's going to be every race that we have to battle uh, our hearts out. So... Guys, let's go to, uh, I think, actually, that's it. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, if I do anything team management-wise, I'll let you guys know next episode, but I don't think I will. I think everything's kind of been doing what it has to. But uh, if you guys like the video, make sure you hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. I hope you guys are having a great day, and I will see you guys later. Peace out.